Hi, welcome to Austin's 2011 festivals benefiting Meals on Wheels. I'm Sarah Andrews and I'm with Meals on Wheels and More. And we are a nonprofit organization in Austin. Uh, we provide home delivered meals to people who are homebound, elderly, and disabled. My name's Katrina, and I have been involved with Twestival for, I think this is my third Twestival, and um, I'm one of the organizers this year. And Twestival is always a really fun thing to do because it's local, it takes the, you know, the online to the offline, and you get to meet all these people that you've been friends with online for a really good cause. I think it's been really wonderful to have the chance to talk to and meet and hear from the people who actually work for Meals on Wheels and more and what they are doing in, to help their clients uh, has been the most impactful thing, you know, to be able to help them do what they do best. Twestival is short for Twitter Festival and it is an annual event that is coordinated on a local level in cities all across the world on a specific day each year. And so um, the Twestival coordinators pick a charity that they're going to benefit um, each year and then they throw a big event and basically they find sponsors and they put the word out and get people to come and um, it all benefits the, the nonprofit that they've chosen. 100% um, of the, the ticket sales and all of the sponsorships go straight to us. Um, I can't think of a reason not to come out to Austin Festival. I think in Austin we have so many meetups and so many events. Um, and they're all great, but they're all just based around, you know, maybe networking a lot of times. This one you can network, but it all goes to such a great cause and you feel really good about it. Um, Meals on Wheels is such an awesome charity. Uh, I know when I first thought of Meals on Wheels, I thought that all they did was deliver meals. Um, but then looking to what they did and found out that they helped take care of the elderly's pets or take them to medical appointments or do home repairs. I mean, it's just like an all-in-one package. And so if I can give $10 or more to them, why not? You know, I, I get to support them, I get to my friends. Uh, it's just a win-win. I think that there's a lot of people are kind of intimidated by the idea of going online to offline. You know, I think with, with Twitter, you can kind of take on your own persona and I think with Austin Twestival, you can take the things that you're interested with, interested in and you can come to a great event like this, do some good for Meals on Wheels, and at the same time, you're meeting people that are online, offline. And so it's a really great experience and, and it's interesting because people don't, you know, you don't really shake hands, you hug, and you're doing something good for Meals on Wheels. So I think that's, that's something that, that's not really focused on when you're talking about a social media driven charity event. Twestival was probably the first uh, very successful experience of social media for social good. Um, it's been around for three or four years now and it's a global event. So hundreds of cities across the world are right now doing exactly what we are, raising money for local charities in their communities. Uh, but it was very unique in the sense that it was the first major nonprofit fundraising success story to come out of Twitter and social media in general. And they raised, I want to say a quarter of a million dollars approximately the first year for Charity Water. And that just made a lot of people go, wow, this is amazing. What else can we do with this? The most rewarding part about putting this project together has really just been um, just the community in it. I mean, meeting new people, you know, these are people that have chosen us to be the beneficiaries but might not necessarily have a direct relationship with Meals on Wheels. Um, they may not have volunteered before or have had um, family members who have used our services. But um, through this event, they're able to get to learn a little bit more about what we do and also just they get to learn who we are and, um, and we get to meet new people and make connections and I think it's just a really, it's just a really amazing thing. Um, it's very organic and uh, it's it's just, it's a, it has a great sense of community involved with it. I really want people to know that charity events can be really fun. And, you know, you can come here and you, and everybody, you're not, no one is afraid to talk to anyone, you know. And so I think people should get out there and take their lives off Twitter and Facebook and say hi to everybody else, you know, online. So don't be afraid. <laughs> I think that it's whether you're doing it in Twestival or you're doing it in some other event, or you're just volunteering with your church, 
I would like to see this be a moment where people are inspired to give back to their communities in whatever way works best for them. I think people have to feel called to volunteer and give back and give of themselves as well as from their pocketbooks. And so to me that's the real takeaway is to get involved in your community and be a part of it and realize that these things don't happen magically in a bubble. People actually work hard on this stuff and you can be one of those people that's making a difference.